a familiar face, an iconic person on a longtime daytime drama, star of a groundbreaking show that was back in the 90s, and a successful theater owner. We're talking to James Reynolds next. You are tuned in to Black Hollywood Lives, breaking into... It's like, where are voices like that these days? Ah, uh, it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it's isn't it incredible? Like the production, listen to the production. Yeah, listen to how he massages every lyric. Every lyric is, every word is massage. Hello, you guys. Welcome to another edition of Breaking Into. We're just admiring Sam Cooke. This is a great song, and actually a great meaning to the song, of course, that we should have today. A change is going to come. It has to come, right? Hopefully some yes, good ones. Yes, yes. Yeah, always you want good ones. Of course. <laughs> so I'm James Live Jr., your host. I always, I always want good changes. Trust me. You guys know me. Yes. I'm James Live Jr., and you can follow me at James Live Jr. on everything in the whole entire web universe. It's that simple. So this guy I have today, it's an honor to have him in my, in my studio, on my show. You watch TV, you admire a person, then they actually, when you grow up, they come on your show. It's kind of amazing. You know him. You've seen him. For what, 35 years just about? On Days of uh, Our Lives, off and on? Very, very cool. Yes. I, in fact, I, I think, yes, it will be. I think it's coming up. I think it's coming up. I think now it's that up. you say that, I realize, uh, I know, yes, it will up. be this fall. Yeah. Yes. You know him as the stand-up yeah. law enforcer. I want you to use that because he's been a commissioner, he's been a mayor, he's been all kinds of things on the yeah, show. Yeah. But yeah. as Abe Carver on NBC's long running top uh, drama, Days of Our Lives, he also starred on the groundbreaking Soap Generations. We're going to talk about that yes, too. Yes, indeed. indeed. Uh, we're going to talk about that one. And he owns a successful theater, a nice small theater here in Pasadena, Fremont Center South, Theater. South Pasadena. South Pasadena. South Pasadena. Pasadena. Yes. Fremont Center Theater. And we're going to talk about all those things. It's just my pleasure to have two time Emmy winner. <laughs> Emmy, Emmy, Emmy nominee. 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 Hopefully a winner is some point some point. Yeah. James Reynolds. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm very good. Thank you so Great much. Great first name. I'm That's getting applause. You're getting applause. I, I, the I, audience is here. It's all yeah, excited. I, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, you know, we met at Day of Days. Yes. And so if folks have not seen that yeah. interview, you can go to After Buzz TV and Days of Our Lives. And it's, we had, it was a show. It was you and Wally Kurt. Yeah. who I love. Yeah. Um, we had a good time. It was only like five minutes. The other gave us like five minutes. Wally's a great guy, a wonderful guy. And, uh, uh, you know, we're both kind of small town boys, so we yeah. share that. You guys had great chemistry. Yeah. And yeah, it's like you guys, you guys were both riffing off each yeah. other. And he actually, yeah. he's really said how long you've been on television. He was telling me, I think it was like he said 34 years or something like that. <laughs> so it's like, it was like 35 years now. Yeah, it, it is. But yeah, Wally's, Wally's a wonderful guy. And we do kind of share that background. I think that's... Uh, that's always a, a, a special thing with uh, those of us who are who grew up in the in small town America. Yeah. We share a lot. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Now we had, and I get a chance to tell him on air how much I admired him as an African American actor on a soap. Yeah. On daytime yeah. period. Because before yeah. that, let's talk about that. Okay, we're gonna show one picture up there, and you guys will see. You can look over <laughs> oh and see it. Oh my God in heaven! <laughs> Oh, now, a lot of hair, a lot of hair on my <laughs> lip, a lot of hair on my head, a lot of hair in those days. Yeah. Yes, now, I mean, because before you, the only men that I could think of that were kind of popular on soaps that were black were Al Freeman Jr., yep. From Life to Live. Mm -hmm. Major story, I won, yes. he won the Emmy for Best Actor, yeah, he did. the first he did. black person yes. to do that. Yeah, um, and, and maybe uh, maybe even nominated for that. Yeah, uh, it was Al Freeman Jr. Yeah, Al Freeman yeah. Jr. Was, it was he was pretty big. I know Morgan Freeman did yeah. some stuff in another world. <laughs> yeah, but it was like there wasn't too many African American men, and then you came along. Yeah, how did Dave come into your, your orbit? Well, uh, you know, reluctantly. <laughs> I like that. You know, reluctantly, yeah. It was uh, it was very interesting. There was another another soap okay. that uh, I won't name. You won't name it. I won't it's name. Still on the air. It may still be on the air. Oh, I mean, oh. it's just us, James. No one's listening. Yeah. And um, there was a role available, and I was uh, my agent was approached about that, and uh, I just finished a show on CBS. I. Uh, I that very few people remember called Think, Time Express. I'm glad you bring it up because yes. Vincent Price. Vincent Price, the only series that he had ever done. I know. And uh, um, and it was a wonderful, wonderful experience for me. I thought it was a very good show. Yeah. Uh, and uh, four and, episodes. Four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was very. We shot more. Oh, there, are okay. more oh, there are more episodes out wow. there. Yeah, there are more episodes out there somewhere. Wow. Somewhere. Warner Brothers probably has. Uh, oh yeah, some other, yeah, yeah. Okay. And. Um, so there are episodes, others out there, uh, and it was wonderful. It was great. I loved it. 
Uh, I did a, another series prior to that, okay. and um, uh, so that show was over. It was yeah. it was it was done. It was. And how over. was Vincent? He's in legend. He was tremendous. Talk about a voice too. You're, you're was, a voice too, but he well, has one too. He was tremendous. Yes. Uh, uh, for those people who remember, yes. he was the saint on radio. Yes. And, of course, and, uh, uh, very iconic in, in the old films. <laughs> yes. And, oh, yeah. Uh, I would tell it. me a lot of those stories. Oh, and he was a great God. guy. He was a guy who was always on the set. Always, He was always out there on the set. A very friendly man. Okay. He wouldn't... You wouldn't get that no, from the screen persona, right. <laughs> but he was a very friendly man who had a reputation not only as an art expert but as a gourmand and oh, wow. and all of these things that wow. you know, being this small town boy, yeah. I thought were, was pretty extraordinary. And but uh, what impressed me most was just him as a person. He wow. was a great guy, and uh, I I always remember shooting. We shot that show over at Warner Brothers, okay, and. Uh, uh, people every day would bring their artwork for him because he was a w world-renowned oh, wow. art expert. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, he, he was known all over the planet as this great expert on art. And they'd bring these pieces that their uncles did and their cousins oh, wow. and their, their children and their <laughs> nieces and nephews. And he, they'd bring all this in. I'm, I'm looking at this stuff. And he's sitting, you know, he's always there. Yeah, he's yeah, sitting there. And, we, yeah. and, uh, and he was so gracious to everyone. Oh, wow. And he would find something nice to say about okay. everything. Okay. And I'm I'm sitting there looking at this stuff and going, Ooh, this is they a... call this art, you know? Right? Yeah. This <laughs> is this is not this is not great. Aww. And uh, since it's the internet, we can cuss. But yeah, anyway, we, yeah, we, we can do all cuss, that now. But I thought this is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going through my head. Yes, right, no, right, at right, the time. Right. But uh, he, you know, he was he was so gracious. Wow. Uh, and, and at all times, at all times, and um, it's good to hear. It was a good. It was it was great for me because it was a great lesson to learn. Now, also, folks. He is the voice on Thriller, the song Michael Jackson's yes, Thriller. Yes, he is. Very yes, iconic. He is. That he's yeah, the one who does yeah. it. And that laugh at the end is just amazing. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's him. That's him. If you well, he is, an, he is an icon. And, yes. and uh, yes, he absolutely is. Yes. And so that show ended. Your agent goes, we have these couple of soaps up for you. Yes. One yes. obviously didn't really work out. And one didn't want to see me. Oh. And that was the days of our lives. Oh, <laughs> okay. So how do we go from not being Absolutely seen? Absolutely did yes. not oh, want to so see funny. this guy who had just uh, <laughs> shut down this uh, show on, uh, oh, on, on uh, Prime Time CBS. Networks, yes. Prime Time CBS. Yes. And uh, they, didn't, they didn't want to see me. They had some other people in mind, and okay. uh, they were they were convinced they were going to go a different direction. Okay. And my agent had uh, said, oh, I'll "Take a look," and so I did. Yeah, I got I got in and, and called very close to the end. Oh wow! And uh, they had made up, they really had made up their minds. Okay. Uh, and uh, but I went in and in whatever happened at that moment, yes. things changed around. Okay. And uh, but actually, by the time I got home, I, I got a, I had a call. In wow. those days, there was oh, no that's right. there was no cell phone. That's right. That's so you right. had you had an answering service, yes. and you know yes. I went home. I, and I wasn't checking my service to see about this audition because I went yeah. in, and it really was at that point was uh, to meet the network and the writers and producers. Everybody was in the office then, uh, but you know I thought it was just one yeah. of those things yes. because as actors, you know, you get called yep. in for those things, yeah, and, yeah, and uh, you take those meetings, and uh, yes, that's what happens. Yes. Uh, but they said, you know, we'd, we'd uh, uh, can you? Can you learn your lines really? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, soaps that people always do. There was, was no test. test. It was no test. I was uh, for a long, long time actually the uh, only actor who had, who had not been tested. Yeah. And um, uh, they said, "Can you be on Monday and we'll deliver, deliver scripts? And do you want the role?" And I said, "Yeah." <laughs> Take that role, yeah. Because the other one, there were some things about the other okay. one which I won't go into that were. Dang it! Dang it! And I think I made the very uh, yeah, history has shown yeah. that. Well, the obviously, the right choice. was the right one. Yes. Now, um, Mark Show 002, the one right after the yeah. So that one, Terry Body. Because yeah. you you've had many storylines, and I'm even going yes. going into all of them. But yes, I have. There's a couple of points that I want to hit, and one is Renee Jones who oh, played Lexi. Oh. Just, just long running, yeah. I mean, first she played another yes. character first, Nikki Wade. Yes, and then she came Nikki back. Wade, yeah. So you have a long. I mean, and I know she retired, yeah. I guess, from acting. She has. She so has. I mean, those yeah. scenes when she was dying in your arms. I mean, I, 
You should have won Emmy for that. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I mean, they were very there because it was like here's this long time nice couple. On daytime, which is very rare. You yeah. know, she had her bad demeanor size. We, and stuff. we we each had our, our yes. moments on the in that relationship. It was a long relationship, so it was like mm -hmm. uh, it was like a relationship. Yeah, I'm sure. And uh, your work so wife, you had, so to speak. Exactly. Well, my my wife calls her her sister wife. Oh, I and like that. that. <laughs> oh, how cute! I like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, basically, so Lisa yeah. says she's her sister yes. wife. Uh, yeah, it was 20 years, and and wow. uh, and uh, so the on screen, our, our off screen relationship was always wonderful. Okay. Actually, hit we hit no bumps at all. Wow. Uh, and uh, but the on-screen relationship, obviously, yeah. You know, we got to keep people interested. Yeah. Now, I mean, did you guys develop a second sense when it came to coming acting together? You guys become so comfortable, it just kind of worked. Yeah. I think after it, a while, I think it was two people who um, who uh, liked each other, who had no major. Hangups about anything, mm. and uh, yeah. to use an old term, I like I like it. I'm old. I like it. Works for me. I haven't heard that term I until it came out of my mouth for a long, long time. But we had no big hangups, yes. and yeah. uh, so we kind of, you know, always wanted things to to uh, work out yeah. and, and move through. And we came in and did our work every once in a while when things were really, uh, when we were really challenged by something, we would talk. Uh, uh, I remember once there was a power blackout. Oh. And um, Renee had called me, and we had some really, some difficult scenes, a lot of difficult scenes, and uh, and I so I went to my car, and we actually went over our lines while wow. I was sitting in my car. Oh, how funny! Because uh, the uh, you know I was lucky enough to have a car yeah. that I could talk uh, over the sound system, and we did our lines while I was in my car. Wow! You know, because the power had gone out all over. San Gabriel Valley. Oh that my point. God! That's and crazy. Uh, so we did that for uh, a couple of hours. So that, you know, we had that kind of uh, focus. Each one of us had that kind of focus, and we would come in, really wanting to do well and wanting to do well together. And and uh, so that that's that was that's a very special kind of thing. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't happen very often. How did you feel when she decided to leave? It was her choice. It wasn't uh, like she wasn't being like sad, that. empty. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, you know, um, I, I I knew she was. You know, that's it, it, those things don't happen overnight. No, of course not. And uh, we had had conversations, and uh, you know, I knew that she had other interests and wanted yeah. wanted to uh, do other things. So yeah, uh, it wasn't a surprise, but it was still yeah, I'm sure. Uh, your your, your acting part, your main acting partner. Yeah, we've other acting yeah. partners on the show, but like yeah. she was the one that you know that was yeah. like I feel like you guys were like the anchors. It was a yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. It was a uh, amicable divorce, yeah. that kind of yeah. thing, where you know you go, ah, oh, I gotta, you know, I gotta go off and do yeah. this, and it's. But you it's understand, you're like I get it. You're like I totally absolutely, get it. absolutely. And she was so beautiful. It's like just people beautiful, oh, without without question, and 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 I and I think uh, you know obviously because. Uh, of uh, the, the closeness in which we worked, but I think a lot of other people on the show felt the same way. Well, sure. Yeah. Oh my God. I just think it for me seeing people who look like me reflected on daytime yeah. TV, because people, if you don't realize this, daytime has a large African American audience. They watch soaps. Yes. I mean, a lot of us, yes. are, our grandmothers, aunties, yes. mothers raised us on soaps. Yes. From the 60s, I mean, all, you know, on. And so to see days actually had. You two is just the staples were on there. African Americans are um, the largest per capita audience of daytime television. Mm -hmm. Period. Uh, there's just there's no question. It, yeah. it, it was the same in the 1980s as mm -hmm. it is today. Wow. The percentage of audience that work uh, that watches mm -hmm. per population is the largest. Yeah, and it's fun. And I think it's kind of cool all the different regimes you've gone through. Yeah. that they've kept Abe on. Yes. Yes. Because, and, and I've given I've given you family. Well, that that yes. you know, and and uh, I always say this. I always will say this. And uh, 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 Ken Corday yeah. uh, has been, without question, uh, the uh, the supporter of Abe. He has been the person wow. who has been behind the continuation of Abe. And in the last several decades, however long yeah. he's been he's been with the show. Greg Ming has also oh, yeah, Greg uh, Ming. been yes. been a tremendous supporter of wow. this character and what he brings to brings to the show. Mm -hmm. And those two people, those two men, have uh, 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 I, I I am always filled with uh, gratitude not, yeah. not only for their support of this character, yeah. but for their friendship to me personally. Mm -hmm. 
uh, but uh, but also their understanding of what this character brings to the yeah, show. Yeah, and I got to meet um, uh, Sal, who plays your daughter, Lonnie. Yes. Great, beautiful woman also. Yes, great, yes. great, I mean, yes. nice person. So Absolutely. nice. Got to meet her. I haven't met Kyler yet, like, but he's doing such amazing work as your son. Kyle Peter. is tremendous. Oh, my God. He's so and I, and good. I love, I love Sal. Uh, yes. I've got to tell you, I, I just uh, I adore Sal. And uh, uh, Kyler has brought something to Theo that I think is very rare, and, and and Terrell did this as well. I was saying, no, I loved. I was supposed to say, I loved him too. Young actor. Oh no, you you lucked out with some kids. Know, Terrell will be, uh, you know, uh, we'll be sitting at home watching Terrell accept his Oscar in a few years. Oh, I, I can see but, it. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Uh, Kyler, uh, in my mind, has the most difficult job on the show in walking that line between uh, a young man now mm -hmm. who is challenged with autism, mm -hmm. and and how Kyler. Uh, walks that line and brings it to to us mm -hmm. and uh, makes it live for us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just extraordinary. I, I completely I, agree. I think he's I think he's wonderful. Completely. Agree. Last little last question, main about about yeah. days of our lives for you. Um, how did you handle all the different Romans? <laughs> it's like yeah, Wayne Northrup. You had well, uh, Drake Hogeston. Yeah. You have Josh Taylor. Well, let's Josh understand Dax. that Josh has been Roman longer than any other. Is that, Roman fu is that funny? Has been Roman. So you know, Josh. Uh, Josh and I also, also we're, we're good. We're very good friends yes. off screen. And uh, again, the small town yes. boy relationship yes. that we that we have and. Uh, um, we have a very uh, we have a tremendous relationship, and he was Chris Crosstech the first yes. ten years when I came on the show. Yeah, he so he's so, so you know him probably a long, long time. I do, I yes. do, and he was Chris Crosstech <laughs> when I came on the show, yeah. and then he came on as Roman. <laughs> but you know, they all three um, uh, are, are great guys. No, I know one. Drake, so I, I love Drake. Yeah, I yeah about absolutely. Uh, you know, just yeah. great guys, and and Drake. Uh, of course, came on as as Roman, right. which we later yes. found out that he really wasn't a Roman. <laughs> he was John. But, I know he was uh, two feet taller than anything. That's on the But story. he convinced Abe, so yes. it was, you know, that was fine. <laughs> You're his best was, friend. You like you believed it. Hey, yeah, he's Roman. He's Roman. <laughs> he's Roman. And, hey, and of course, Wayne Northrup, who, uh, yes, who I just love yeah. and had a great relationship. And, yeah. and Wayne is just a, a you know fun. <laughs> and then he guy. came back later as Alex North. His whole thing there. Yeah, but I'm like, yeah, just, yeah. yeah. I mean, was a, that was a different experience. Oh, it just made me laugh. It makes me laugh. I'm like, here we got this because. To me, I did I did a special on uh, here on AfterBuzz TV. You can see it on AfterBuzz TV yeah. uh, about the different Romans. I think it's a very fascinating story, actually. Right. And Ab Abraham, yes. is, and Abraham and Marlena both have been part of this, like <laughs> of all of their journeys. And, and that was Drake's uh, that, that was Drake's addition to uh, to the Abraham. relationship was the Abraham yeah, the, was gonna, yeah. addition. And <laughs> each each Roman has brought their own. Yeah, their own uh, spin to yes. that relationship and how that how yeah. that feels, and yeah. uh, so that it was it was uh, they all made it easy for me yeah. because when the, I, I like them all, so yeah. that was part of it. But it's uh, <laughs> it's interesting, and you know, Josh has been Roman now for twenty years. God, that's that's you know, I don't I don't know if the public realizes that. It probably but, does, it's so it's so seamless yeah. and probably it just that he's yeah. just an effortless character. I guess they probably maybe I didn't realize that was twenty years, but you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been uh, it's been that long. So he is Roman Brady yes. at this point. But the but both uh, Drake and Wayne have added their their uh, colors to yes. the tapestry of what yeah. is Roman Brady. Yeah, and like I told him on Day of Days, just just an honor having seeing your face on television, daytime TV. So for me, it's well, just, thank it's just, you. It's just thank it's, you. It's an honor, and I'm Very sure much. other African American actors. Who grew up watching you probably feel the same way who are now doing well this. it is it has been one of the honors that i've had uh, uh over the years by playing this character is that so many younger uh african-american actors and that number does grow no, it does, it does. <laughs> there are there are more younger <laughs> ones uh, every you day see i have gray hair my dear <laughs> i know that happens yes we know that happens but it does happen and it is yeah. it is a tremendous honor and i um uh, you know, I, 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 I'd like to encapsulate what that, what that feeling is like. Uh, but people do come up to me every, sure. every well, outside of your studio, young, young woman who I met right outside. Oh yeah, oh. and suddenly had that that <laughs> moment, and, and uh, I thought this is this is very special, yeah. and uh, very much something that I feel a tremendous gratification sure. in. Well, it's funny because I said in the beginning of the show, familiar face. Whenever I post a picture of you. And was like, I know him. He's oh my god! Like you're a, you're like a warm, yeah. familiar face. 
Yeah. And, uh, and one of the things that I just think is really great is that I, I talked to some folks over at General Hospital. Is that there's a whole group of black actors there now. Great. So this is great. great. So we, we're, we're coloring the canvas. Yeah. Yeah. And a couple of them mentioned you as so they was like, oh yeah, because I used to see James Reynolds on blah blah blah, and well, that made me think I could I could go on and try for a soap. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, it's, a, it's one of those things. It's one of those. I mean, it's just one of those things. And and also, this leads into show the third. So yeah, show the the next picture. I just saw that. Isn't that crazy? Up there with Jonelle Allen. Yes, yes. I, I love her. Yeah. Okay, so you got to be on, and I think you believe you took over for Tareen Black, right? I did for generations. Yeah. Now, folks out there, if you don't remember, NBC decided to try a soap where it was a black family and a white family, and which was not done before. I mean, a full black family. And with some great actresses and actors on, I mean, on the show. Um, you're also with Kelly Rutherford. You know, other actors were on there too. Yes. It was a great mix of people, and it was on for a couple of years on NBC. And you took over as what the patriarch. Yeah, uh, which was, uh, you know, I had actually um, tested for that show, which most people don't know. Uh, while I was on Days of Our Lives, when they were originally forming that show, and uh, and I was on Days, so that yes. that was not something that. Uh, uh, I was interested in doing at that time. You were working. It was, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then uh, later as time went on and stories kind of evolved and, um, uh, and then uh, Generations was going through its own evolution mm -hmm. and they were kind of looking for something to kind of enhance it a little bit and Torian was leaving mm -hmm. and they asked, you know, would you be interested in coming on as this character? And I thought... Yeah, and at the time was one of those times that happened on on so yes. very, you know, you're not you're not front burner. And, nope, not uh, used as much. Things are not used yes. as much exactly, yeah. and uh, so it seemed to me. And 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 I, once again, days Al Raven, who was the producer at that time, made it very clear if I wanted to, to leave that the door was never closed. Oh, good. Our lives. Oh, wow. And uh, and you know, with Al's uh, input and, and Ken again, mm -hmm. who uh, has always been supportive. Uh, I thought, well, let's see, let's see what happens. And this was something that I was very interested in, this show, and what was going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, they could not have been more gracious, Sally Sussman. Yes, Sally Sussman, uh, yes. Uh, who uh, was great in Yorn yeah. Winter. Yeah. And uh, from the minute uh, I got there, uh, they embraced me. Wow. As part of that, as part of that show and, wow. and part of... The bones of that show, the structure, the yeah. foundation of, of that show, yeah. and uh, so uh, I loved every single yeah. moment. And it was different. It was a half hour, not an hour. Right. And uh, you got an Emmy nomination too. Yeah, I, I did get an Emmy nomination for that show. For that show, for yeah. that show. you yeah. sure did. Nineteen ninety one. Yeah. yeah. And Christoph St. John was on there. Christoph was my son. Yes, and, he's uh, of course big on Young and the Restless. Of exactly, course. Yeah. exactly, and has been ever since. Yes. And Christoph yes. uh, always has a special place oh, in my heart yeah. and uh you know uh i i, I miss him yeah. when we see each other there's always a big oh, embrace I'm sure. I'm uh, sure. you know and uh uh so uh, and i i'm so grateful for and so happy yeah. for christoph's uh, success since that show and yeah he, he's, he's good he's so good. oh he's wonderful he's, he's a, so he's, he's won an emmy he's he doing he wants he to has. He has. Yes. He's really yes. good. um but did you realize when you with the show how i mean because i remember when it came out how groundbreaking it was. Yeah. And did that, yeah. did that make a factor in your decision of saying, okay, I will come on? Oh, without question. Yeah. No, there's no question about that. Uh, uh, to me, uh, history is very important. Yes. I, 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 uh, I, I always feel the sort of the embrace of history wherever, wherever I go and whatever I me do too. and wherever me I too. am. And uh, so the fact that I could be part of something that was so important uh, historically, mm -hmm. and uh, so important in the history of, of the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. uh, in, in its in, in the wider sense yeah, of yes. what that means. Yes, you know, yes. from the earliest days of, of stage to film to television mm -hmm. to the internet, yeah. and and yeah. now uh, that was that that was something that was very very difficult to resist and something that I, I, I was so grateful to ask to be a part of. And, um, and, and I only wish that, that that show had been able to go longer yes, and farther. But we had a lot of, uh, there was a lot of opposition. I and a lot of opposition mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of forces reigned against that 
that show. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, Brandon Tartikoff, to his yes. credit, who appeared in the final scene. Yes, you know, yes. Yeah, you're showing that picture <laughs> yeah, of me yeah. and Joan He comes out, it's, it's really funny. Yeah, he comes yes, out, yes, yes, yes. But yes. was extremely supportive of that yeah. show. Yeah. And uh, did what he could to keep that show going and going and on the air. Plus, and yeah. it being on the air with that show yeah. was part of that. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, we tried to, we tried everything from Congress to, uh, organizations around the country uh, but uh, you know the uh, there were some key affiliate affiliates that were not on board and uh, that was that was a difficult difficult thing and I you know um, uh, I, you know, I wish I wish we could have sustained that and that yeah. would have been uh, very important. I know it's just it's I mean people don't realize that this was like 25 years or 26 years ago that yeah. I mean it wasn't like today and, and, yeah. and you have to realize that Generation showed black people of different kinds of, they're like soap people. Yeah. I mean, we had Diane Carroll play the first black bitch on primetime on Dynasty, but that was it of black people. Yeah, and that wasn't easy either. No. That wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for her. There was was criticism there. Right. Uh, Certainly our show uh, got a lot of of criticism. And as I said, a couple of key, very key affiliates uh, pulled away from that and pulled out of that. You know, plus uh, the the pragmatic thoughts that this was a thirty minute show that came during uh, basically during lunch hour, yes, <laughs> during yes. the new <laughs> the new news yes. for a lot of shows. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, it was difficult. It was difficult uh, 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 for the affiliates to hang on. Yeah, uh, I don't know. There was a lot of effort put into uh, keeping the show right. on from those affiliates. Knows, right? I think they came in rather rather easily. <clears throat> Probably it was, and uh, but it was it was it was very it was very important. I think uh, in a lot of the shows that we see today uh, that have uh, majority black hat scandal and empire. And, oh, yeah. And half, all, half all, knots and all those. Oh, yeah. their, um, oh, their, it, somewhere in their DNA, Generations is there. I agree completely. Yeah. That's, why, and that's why I want to bring that up for sure. I want to bring that up. Lisa Howard, who's watching, says, Hi there, James Reynolds. Thank you for sharing yourself with us. Well, thank you very much, Lisa. That's very good. Are, are you Lisa Howard that used to be on uh, Days of Our Lives? Uh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, tell me if you are. Tell me, please, tell me please, please, please. That's so please, funny. Please, yeah. I've actually had that before. People in chat rooms, yeah. people that people have known my guests. Yeah, that's happened. Um, we're going to talk about. You already mentioned Time Express, which I was going to ask you about. So I'm yeah. very happy you did. Yeah. Uh, but you have a theater. Yes, it, one of those nine nine seat and under theaters, which are really right. popular here in Southern California. Um, and uh, before we're going to show a picture of it, the outside of it. Yes, the Fremont um, Center Theater in South Pasadena. And you can go to FremontCenterTheater.com for more details. But we're going to talk about that. But I have something to read to you ah. from Mark J. Freeman, who does Dish and Days. And he also is the box office manager over at uh, the Odyssey Theater. Ah. On uh, Sepulveda. And he says, let me tell you guys. Okay. Make sure I have this. Um, oh, my goodness. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go, kids. We're getting there. Okay, we got it. Okay, well, that's the wrong thing. Well, that's okay. You're better than me. I know. I'm it always takes me a long time. Okay, so he is offering your patrons uh-huh. a $10 off promo code. If you type in, if you, if you go to their website, um, odysseytheater.com, and type in Fremont, oh, they're doing the wonderful. Harry Ape this weekend. Oh, fantastic. Eugene O'Neill. Oh, my goodness. And so he said that you guys, if you type that, you get $10 off, and you can go see the show, and it's because we they support your theater yeah, also. Absolutely. Well, and yeah. theaters. That's Mark J. Freeman. Well, thank you, Mark, very, very much. And, and absolutely, we are, obviously, as a 99C theater, these are not easy times for, no, I know. for the 99C theater. Let me, before I go on, I want to say please. about the uh, Fremont, yes, please. Uh, that my wife, Lisa, is, yes. is the heart and soul Oh, homegirl is like, she's working it out, yeah. isn't she? Yes. She's the heart and soul behind the Fremont Center Theater and has been for a long time. And we have, we do have some things coming up that I, I hope everybody What's does pay it. Well, go to, for one, go to yes. FremontCenterTheater.com. That's right. Com, That's right. You and tell them, you James. will always find out about yeah. what's going on at the yeah. theater. And we have uh, uh, every uh, bi monthly, we do uh, Word Now, which mm-hmm. is a spoken word production. Do you really? And our next one, our last one was, was the theme was war. The next one will be independence. But it is wonderful. So if you're a fan of spoken word, I am, actually. the moth being one, and, and yeah. there are many, uh, there are others. Uh, but this is has always been tremendous. We've done it now for we we'll have to come. I don't know, five, six months now, or oh, wow. a, a half a year or so. But it has always been tremendous. Joe Ramez okay. is uh, our producer. 
okay. uh, along with Fremont Center Theater and Lisa yeah. Reynolds. And uh, uh, so that's great. And we have Young Stars Theater, Ooh, okay. who is now our occupant at Fremont Center Ooh, Theater. good. Very good. And uh, they are doing Alice in Wonderland as their next production. Ooh, okay. Very good. Which is fantastic. Yes. And we uh, currently have... Uh, 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 one woman show, Lady Sings the Blues, about okay. uh, Billie Holiday. So, please, 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 uh, Lady Sings the Blues is not the title, but it's but, yeah. about Billie Holiday. Yeah, about Holiday. And you yes. always think of that when, yes, you, uh, yes. when you think of that. Yes. So, uh, uh, so I encourage everybody to go to our, go to our website yeah. and see what we're up to next. And and we'll be doing something. And some things are percolating in oh, good. in my head. So, uh, you know, we'll be we'll be on stage there. But it's a difficult time for. Um, uh, what used to be called Equity Waiver Theater, mm -hmm. 99 seats or under, mm -hmm. and Equity has mandated that we uh, uh, have some guidelines that have made it uh, difficult for us uh, in, a, in a budgetary way yeah. to continue, not just us, and we will continue. We have Young Stars yes. Theater yeah. and some others who, who, uh, who are now helping, helping out mm -hmm. with that. Uh, but uh, a lot of 99-seat um, theaters... Uh, will be going under because they just simply can't afford to right. continue. And there's such and great stuff happening there these days. Great stuff happening, wonderful outlet for yeah. actors. Oh my and, god. Uh, oh my and god. It, it's unfortunate because it's gonna be more difficult for actors to perform and do the roles they want mm -hmm. to do and uh, be involved in the kind of productions they want to be in. Mm -hmm. Much more difficult for writers. Mm -hmm. and this yes. is one of their this is one of their outlets. That and was, we yeah. We came along originally, we wanted to do original productions, and 80% of what we do have been original productions. Right. Uh, I think we've had now uh, five or six published plays that have wow. come out of what we've That's done good. over the years, and, and of course directors in, in yeah. all, all aspects of the theater. So we hope there's a resolution that will enable, enable us to continue along yeah. in very much the way it would be. Uh, you know, we all want to see everyone treated the right way and the fair way, but uh, this this edict that came down from e yeah. equity, and I don't know any other way of, of yeah, right, of phrasing it. it. Yeah, yeah, has, has yeah. made it very, very difficult. I I want to really mention because I love theater and I've been seeing some stuff and there's great theaters like the Greenway Arts Theater. Yeah, uh, you know, it's an Odyssey. You guys, I mean, they're out there and there's smaller theaters where. I'm seeing some. I've been seeing some great productions and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and it is a great outfit. People trying things out. Yeah, and... that's exactly theater. Is it's is, uh, is about that. Mm -hmm. It's about you know. It's about life. I, I noticed I was on the internet earlier today, and uh, uh, I was reading about uh, Hamilton. And if theater oh, yes. were not, if it were not experimental, and if it were yeah. not, if it did not embrace people that wanted to do something different. Then we wouldn't have we wouldn't have Hamilton. We wouldn't have so much of what uh, I know. the Harry Eight. I know would not have existed in its day. No, I know without without people that would embrace experimentation mm -hmm. and things that are that are new. And I new. know, and so that's Lisa. Which I want to read. For, first, I want to say hi to Lisa. Great woman. We've been keeping in touch. She's been Absolutely. keeping us in touch. She Absolutely. works it out. And she is the co-artistic director there, and you guys are the owners and working it out yeah, there. Sure. So I'm make sure I say hi to her. Um, I want to read your mission statement because I really like this. It is FCT's mission to discover and rediscover plays of value to produce in an artistic atmosphere that nurtures creativity, originality, and excellence. This, and this is the part of your, your mission that I really like. In addition, FCT is committed to producing theater that promotes diversity and attracts diverse audiences. Yes. Good quote. That for some reason that last sentence spoke to me in a way like what you're saying is we may put on a play that's African American based, but we want everyone to come see it. Well, exactly, exactly, and and even more important than that yeah. um, is when we don't put on a play that's yes. African American based, we want to uh, make sure that the cast is diverse, and yeah. and uh, diversity is a very broad. Um, you know, very broad in its definition in yeah. um, Eric in 2015. Yeah, yeah. And we are very broad in its definition. And, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, did, we did a play uh, a few years ago that was actually set in Russia, modern day Russia. Okay. Uh, but set in Russia. And I was insistent at that point that the cast be diverse. Uh, Russia is uh, much more diverse than people think. Oh, yeah, you know, right, we're thinking right, of yeah, Putin yeah. and Khrushchev. Yeah, yeah. 
And, and it worked. And I must have had 10 people who watched that play came up in the audience over time. There were a few hundred people that came, but yeah. at least 10 came up to me and said, we are so appreciative that you, uh, that this was cast in a diverse way mm -hmm. because it made us think about this subject matter and it dealt with labor unions and, okay. and it made us think about this subject matter in, in a different way and in a much more complete way than maybe we would have thought about it before. Mm -hmm. And so that becomes very, very important to us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, and, and yes, we do uh, present a, a lot of play that deal with uh, African Americans, African American experience, but we do, we, we, a lot of plays don't. Right. And, uh, um, uh, you know, I, we did a comedy that was, uh, it dealt with the old film noir. And oh, it was okay. A, it, was a, it was a comedy, it was a takeoff and all that. Okay. It was very, yeah. very funny. Yeah. But I think a lot of your audience will know Denise Boutet, who we, we oh, yes. cast in yeah. the film Fatale yeah. in that okay. yeah. in that play, uh, which was unexpected for the audience, but it worked right. beautifully. And uh, so diversity is very broad, and it, it, and for us it means embracing people of all kinds of experience, whether it's uh, 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 you know Asian Americans or, or, or uh, Hispanics Latino, or Latino yeah, yeah. or, or uh, uh, African Americans or or gay, it 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 is embracing America, and it is embracing what is uh, a friend of mine used to call the uh, the tapestry of America because this whole idea of melting pot is we're not a melting pot we're stitched we, together everybody is stitched together yeah. we're everybody is stitched together and we need to look at each panel of that I like of, that. of that quilt and uh, uh, and that's what it means to us and that's the important part about it. And uh, we we want to keep that. And we have guest productions, and we we ensure we tell them that we expect you to be very diverse in your casting. Okay. Okay. We expect that of you. Okay. It's not something that we request of you. It's something we okay. we expect of you. And if they don't want it, they go somewhere else. Exactly. There's exactly. choice. There's choice. Right. There is choice. Exactly. Choice. And and uh, but you know why wouldn't they? Yeah, of course not. Why wouldn't they? Um, our time is basically up, and I'm totally upset because I'm like, I'm not done with you yet, but it just kind of happens. So you have to just yeah. come back. You have to come back another time. Thank you so much. Um, I have two questions I ask every guest. I don't tell them in advance because I want to hear just what your first reactions are. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe in language. Obviously, you're an actor, so I'm sure you too, and you're a producer and all stuff. So I, I believe in, believe in language. Yes. I believe that language could yes. stop us in our tracks and propel us forward. Don't get me started on language. I know. I, get, I, get, I have a lot of. I know. I love it. I, 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 I know. I know. It. Oh my god! I, I can talk about. It. That was one of my majors in college. Okay. Yes. So um, yes. uh, the two questions I think I'll get on red one. Tell you all right. stuff. Um, one, what word should we? Take back, take out of our vocabularies that we you seem to hear a lot. <laughs> well, um, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a great, great, great question. You. Uh, you know, and and sadly, I find myself in the middle of that on occasion, as okay. I'm sure you do too. But we all do, and you're you're very good. So I didn't catch you doing that. At all. <laughs> but you know, we, and I just said it. We we find ourselves doing the you know as a as a bridge as a mm -hmm. filler. Mm -hmm. Uh, we find ourselves doing the likes as, so, as a filler, the yeah. shows as a filler, mm -hmm. that that kind of thing, and uh, those are always always issues. The uh, mispronunciations, the you know the walks and the talks as opposed to walk and talk, uh, <laughs> are always things that uh, that bother me. And I see people that that language should be their should be their business, newscasters or when we're oh, you know. I know. And I hear those uh, those things all the time. Well, yes. we're, we're going to talk about this. No, we're going to talk about this. Yes. You know, we're going to walk. We're gonna, you're gonna, let's let's walk over here. No, you know, you cook in a walk. We're going to walk over here. Um, what? <laughs> I love it. That's good. I love it. And so, even and and, and and as I hear myself, you know, yeah. uh, I do the gunas as opposed to going, oh, how funny. going to. Yes. Uh, but we all have a, this this uh, this modern day shorthand that I think we need to. Avoid it, it, those of us who are professional in the use yes, of language. I agree. I agree. In particular, are responsible for continuing the use of language. Language does change, and mm -hmm. it will continue mm -hmm. to change. Yeah. And that's part of the vibrancy of the English language. Yeah, and we find things that we say today. Yeah. You know, uh, we, 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 we don't talk. say can you dig it anymore, groovy. But like things, there are yeah, things that. But that's evolved, that's right. certainly part of the part of that conversation. Yeah. And uh, you know, if I. Uh, I could very well 
uh, today in the middle of our conversation. Well, say, well, you know, back in the day, as opposed to saying, well, you know, in the past. Yes, right. Uh, but back in the day works. It works. That's, that's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. It, it works. Not too it's slangish. Fine. Not too slangish. Yeah, it, well, it, it works because we evolve mm-hmm. and our language evolves and things do change. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, once again, we talk about culture and, and diversity. And each culture uh, uh, has, has an effect on how language changes. If you speak Spanglish, Spanglish is going to change how we all speak yeah, as, as, a, as a culture. That's true. You know, uh, and uh, in our slang, uh, in, in our world, in the black world, yeah. has changed the culture worldwide. Mm-hmm. And will continue to do that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so all of those have an effect yes, and, and will continue to. And what word do you think we should bring back or add into our vocabulary if we're not saying it already? Oh, gosh. Uh, that's a great question. That's, that's, the last, that's the last question. <laughs> that's the last question. And apparently we don't have a lot of time for you to answer that, let's, answer let's, that let's, question. That's, so. I, that's why I ask people on the spot. I don't want to think about it too hard on the spot. It's like, <laughs> well, uh, that, that's a very good question. And, and I, I'm not going to cop out. I'm just going to say I don't really have something okay. ready. But the next time you have okay. me on, which okay. I hope is soon, yes. I, will, uh, yeah. I will think about that. We'll talk more theater. Because yeah. you, you also, you mean, just quickly, he also was uh, one of the jam managing artistic directors for LART. Los Angeles Repertory Theater yeah. Company. Yeah. You're also just stuff with veterans. We're going to talk about Kansas. I love Kansas. We're going to we talk think, about we got, Kansas. We got things we have to talk about being yes. in the Marine Corps. We have to yes. talk about we all kinds of stuff. Kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. James, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is show. great. Thank you. And <laughs> as, as James Reynolds, you can catch him on Days or Our Lives on NBC daily. And of course, go to Fremont Center Theater and go there and check out some stuff that's going on there and talk to him. See, read about him. He has a bio on there too and, and see what's going on. And you can follow us here on Black Hollywood Live on iTunes and on uh, YouTube. I'm blank. On YouTube, I have a Facebook page called Breaking Into, which we continue the conversation. I'm James Live Jr., and I will see you next time. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Gary Chris, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at BlackHollywoodLive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live. Scipio, Instagram, at KingXOBay. Thanks for tuning in. The views expressed here are those of the host owner. and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.